In the setting of a blast injury and um, when a service member is near a blast, the hypothesis is that there's a, a very quick change in the pressure because of the blast. And that pressure generates a wave. And that wave can be wind, it can be sound, um, and it could be debris. But uh, regardless, there, are, there is a change in the pressure surrounding the service member that's very quick and that results in a definitive uh, impact to the service member that you may you may have seen you know service members being moved a hundred a hundred feet from a blast injury you may see service members simply fall down but it it depends on the extent of the blast and and as a result of that pressure wave as a result of that change in pressure the brain undergoes a very specific trauma and that could be a, a micro bleed within the contents of the brain a micro injury which is sort of a bruising on the surface of the brain but uh, at this point in time I don't think we really know the exact impact of a blast wave on the brain